Here is Beverly. And Markel Johnson on the attack and the triple. The starts. Braxton Beverly, 6-3 of the year in the Wolfpack. And going the rebound. The team in South Carolina State gave uh, UCLA all they wanted. And there's the grad transfer from Baylor, Al Freeman's first basket. Here's Dorn. All the way through, and Freeman, and one. I don't think you're going to have many South Carolina State players on the offensive glass. Catch it, scored by Freeman. Raynor Powell has come into the ball game for South Carolina State for the first time, and likewise, so is Sam Hunt for NC State as Al Freeman. South Carolina State's 0 for 7 from the floor. Dorn in the corner. This is what Hunt does. Sam Hunt's 13 3 of the year. Sean Neal's onto the floor for the first time for the Bulldogs. Here's Sam Hunt, other corner. Dorn the rebound in traffic. Back strong and gets the basket. First points for Torin Dorn Jr. Shania Raynor Powell can't find an alley on the baseline. Drive by Ray Sean Neal, the freshman from. Legacy Charter in Greenville, South Carolina. Defensively, a nice drive that time. State will change the tempo defensively on you quick, won't they? Beverly a three. Yes, sir. Johnson directs the Wolfpack offense. LeVar Batch Jr., a promising young prospect into the ball game, and a nice pass to Omer Yurt seven. David Bottenberg is out there. Raynor Powell, Janae Raynor Powell, also on the floor. And that's Justin Jones. 30% from the floor. This is, a, I would sense, the rest of this game. You'll see a lot of zone from uh, South Carolina State. Bernard Freeman has got seven. That's his third field goal. They're reading that. It was a solid pass. Rayshon Neal on the runner. Gets the roll. Earlier season effort. Well, very solidly built, Wes, and uh, did a nice job of uh, taking that, using that strength against Beverly on the drive. NC State's assisted on 10 of their 11 field goals so far. Lob, you're at seven to catch, and the layup. During the year, do we hear coaches talk about that, right? Yeah, a lot of guys will they'll want to take a dribble to get themselves, their legs underneath them to go up for, uh, go up for a dunk in a spectacular play, and that's a terrific three. Wayne Banks on the floor for the first time. And Bats, young freshman from the Concord, North Carolina area in transition. Do uh, you know North Carolina that takes guys off the offensive glass. But once you hit half court, you have to get turned around and identify players or NC State will run it right up your back. The advance of the a basketball. South Carolina State's got seven points off turnovers, make it nine. This is where I think, you know, your seven has done some work inside against a smaller team, but I think against bigger teams, you'll see him a lot in a pick and pop out on the perimeter. Seven and ten. Yep. Twelve and thirteen from the field. Sean Kirk's come back on the floor, and the drive and miss by Freeman cleaned up by your seven. Here is Raynor Powell working against Beverly. Neal with a shot fake and the basket. Beverly, three off the catch. Cleaned up Freeman. He lost it on the bounce. Put it on the floor, Mike. Here's Wright. NC State does has some consequence to it. There's a turnover. And there's a scoop and score. Nicely done, J.J. Richardson. He's got five. And that's what's keeping them in this game. And uh, this is the, uh, that was just a very sloppy pass to the wing. They just say uh, it's... it's Ender, under two to go. Neal, Applewhite. Second field goal for Damani Applewhite. Johnson, all the way through. Nice kick back from Beverly. Markel Johnson, 7-3 of the year. Freeman had a shot at the rebound. Out of there come the Bulldogs. Neal ahead for Richardson. Layup good. Seven for J.J. Richardson. Johnson on the drive. Nice pass. Freeman the dunk. Well, good impressive half for Lenard Freeman. Work 
by Markell. Yeah, no, really breaking down the defense inside, and all you have to do is have your hands ready and catch and finish on that play. With a good look, and uh, Leonard Freeman, perfect from the floor. <clears throat> Just getting to know all these new faces. He's got a lot of new guys on the court. And a turnover, and here's Markell Johnson. You're at seven. will trail the break and get the handiwork for the dunk. There you go. With the players on our team and feel like our work isn't done yet here. Yeah, I just, you know, what brought that to mind is with Jimbo Fisher and all the... Got a couple turnovers, Freeman a three, and now the Wolfpack has a loose ball here. Dorn had it deflected. My favorite player, by the way. Dorn Dorn? Oh, yeah. He's a good last name. I mean, he can spell it a little. What he does, you know, and, and Eli, the way that those guys handle their respective sides of the ball with their kids and get them to play hard and to work the way you want them to work. They are. They're a bunch of guys that love the game. Bradley said it last night. He won the ACC Defensive Player of the Year, and they asked him about what's changed. And he said, when you come to the Murphy Center now, it's like a cocktail party. Isn't, uh, can't you be torn as a head coach, though, when, when your coordinators, you, you know, the the better they are, the more opportunities to offer is they're going to get as head coach. The game, you know, somebody's going to turn the ball over and, or make a huge mistake on special teams. Inside goes Dorn for the hoop here. Dave, I want to ask you real quick. You competed well against a lot of them and beaten some of them. And uh, to go to postseason now for our fourth straight year and have a chance to win our third of four bowl games. He wants to have you on the broadcast That's more right. often. That's right, my man. <laughs> well, not only will he be Dave Doran's favorite yeah. player, well, it also speaks to the other thing I know that exists here at NC State. And the camaraderie among coaches and the coaching staffs is really yeah. good here. It is. You know, I've got a great relationship with Wes Moore. And I mean, it's gone now, second half. Another illustration of that pursuit from behind that uh, NC State puts out there and that is Freeman or together and what kind of separation and spreading you can cause defensively then you throw your seven in there who's shown the ability to knock down the three wait till Kevin Keats here is the football <laughs> coach's favorite player went off while he was talking to us here NC State's pushed the lead to 29 Dante Wright a step back three fired in that first half uh, they've, they've settled in and played with a lot more purpose and confidence in the second half. Your seven continues to be him basically inside. Eight of nine from the floor and Radar Powell can't finish. State turns the floor over quickly. Oh, Dorn! This high Dave Clawson the year before that. Dave Dorn, part of that five-year window. Steve Adazio's in that five-year window at Boston College. They're apparent, I mm. uh, wouldn't think. That's right. You know, you'd have more of a feel for it than I would. But this, no, you're right. This is going to have to be, you know. Stan Wilcox, the athletic director. Yep. First big hire. Raynor Powell. Looking inside. Kennard had it batted away. Leonard Freeman. Look ahead. Here's Kirk. Catch. Layup. Wes, we talk, you know, you're talking about teaching points. What NC State lacked was not basketball issues, Mike. It yep. was culture issues in cases, right? Yep. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, the... I guess the only shame of it is he's been in a few programs. Well, that's the that is to me one of the more interesting hires, and I'll tell you, here's Kirk. Look out. Yeah. John Kirk's calling card is normally a dunk. And then they've had, like a lot of teams around the you know around the league, have had a really jam-packed November. But now, including this game, played three games in the next two weeks. Now they've got exams coming up on Monday. On the 30th, well, Brad Brownell's team, a nice win the other night in Columbus, Mike, and there's Dorn at the other end. One loss mm -hmm. at this point. So, a very, and I think in a year when teams, when a lot of people thought that this was going to be a really top-heavy conference. You to help yourself with the, uh, <laughs> the head to the league. Along the baseline goes Jones for the layup. One, the, this, the fan base here was terrific today. Yeah. And how they reacted to that, you know, incredible situation with Ty Solomon. Yeah. Solomon collapsed in front of the bench with 13 minutes to go in the first half. We had a 40-minute stoppage while uh, the South Carolina State and NC State training staff. Here's seemingly the Pack and Bulldogs get together. And Richardson a three. Alex Taylor the follow his first point. Deacons are an interesting study of a team that's boy seen its roster really kind of take a different shape with 
the early departure of John Collins and then the loss of Dino Smith. Me, me getting dunked on by Kenny Carr, you know, me getting dunked on by Hawkeye Whitney. You know, that. <laughs> you mean Clyde laid it up on the end there too, huh? Yeah, yeah. Uh, appears to be on the mend, and that's great news for everybody, but the Bulldogs and Wolfpack score off here.